me again. Just wanted to kind of make a new little mini series uh, going over just some tips and ideas to make your workflow a little bit faster and how to uh, use Krita in a way that will save you some headaches further down the line. So I want to go over something pretty important um, when you're drawing or doing anything really um, which is using reference and I think it's very important to get used to doing that. It's not easy to make that part of your workflow. Any reference that you use, it doesn't matter too much the quality of the image unless you're using it for details. Uh, you can use your smartphone to take the picture if you find them online, um, save them, but make sure to save the source and read what uh, copyrights are attached to that image. There are some people on places like DeviantArt that don't have any restrictions to use for their stock images that they take, but definitely keep that in mind, read over their terms. If it's only for personal work, you're not showing it, then you know, you're pretty golden, but it's always a good idea to keep in mind who you're where you're taking these images from if it's not yourself. Alright, so I'm just going to, uh, yeah, my blank canvas, I'm going to go, doesn't matter what layer you start with if you have more than one layer. Uh, I'm going to go to layer and then import layer. Now it's a good idea to keep all your reference images in a folder and organize them by type like a outdoor landscape, animals, and then under animals, you think birds, cats, whatever, stuff like that. So I'm just going to import three old images because I haven't transferred all my files from my old laptop yet. Uh, I'm just going to, I just clicked on the first one and shift clicked on the last one and I'm getting all three. You can import more than one image at once in Krita with the import layer feature which is really nice. I'm just going to hit open. And as you can see, they load one by one, but each one has its own layer. And they all import above the layer you were on. So I was on layer one, so Creator's like, okay, well, if you're on layer one, we want to keep your hierarchy the way you already set it up, so layer two is just going to stay the top layer, which is totally cool. Now obviously, you can move them, you know, with the little arrow keys here, whenever you want. They all get placed in the upper left hand corner of your canvas, which is just how it imports. And then to position and resize them, you can just hit Ctrl T. So I'm on the image with the vulture, so these little boxes show up. So I'm just going to shift and drag. I'm just going to resize it. I'm going to do that for each image here. And I'm just going to start moving them. There we go. So now I have this blank space here on my canvas and I can just draw away. I have all my images here. I can turn off the visibility if I want, don't want to see it anymore. I got all this room to draw. Now that uh, if you don't want to put them on your canvas, you can also just open the file and make a separate uh, canvas here. A little Mr. Eel. You can just flip through between them. Now if you have two monitors on, which not everyone does, you know, right now, it, it's still a little pricey to do. Or if you're in a laptop and you don't have access to a second monitor, that's totally fine. This is probably going to be the easiest way to do it. But if you do have a second monitor, um, I recommend just having your reference image on the other monitor, whether it's on your left or your right. You can always just glance over and see what you're drawing. So that's pretty much it, just for the reference images. Just want to make these quick and simple and short. If you have any questions or you have a different way of using reference images, let me know in the comments. If there's something specific you want to see incorporated into a, a workflow that you're using, or you have questions about how to use Krita for reference images or, or something else for down the line, like um, thumbnails or organization of your files, stuff like that, um, let me know as well and I'll try and put those into my videos. So yeah, I'll hopefully see you again in the next one, which is going to go over the next step, which is thumbnailing and how to uh, use the transform tools to make your thumbnails um, more how you're envisioning them without using too much actual drawing and erasing. 
Alright, so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.